Hello! Welcome to our lot at 76 Gerald Street in Charlottetown. I'm just doing a turn around here in the middle of the lot. We just moved in at the end of June. And it's the end of October now. We've had an amazing fall. It's been warm and sunny. And there's the house. And there's our car. Martin built our fence. It was the first thing we had to do. And what we're planning to do is park the car on the other side of the fence over here. We just need the city to um, put a bump to the sidewalk for us to drive up on. And then we'll get some gravel. So I thought I'd do a little tour of the yard. This is the bird feeder that was already there. And we brought our bird feeder from home, but the birds don't like this one because it's too low to the ground. We have to hang it. We have lots of chickadees, lots of blue jays. Hmm, that's about it so far. Oh, maybe a couple gold pinches I think I've seen. Got some, I've got some ideas about what I'd like to do for gardening here. I'd like to um, have like very tall perennial flowers. The only thing is it's a bit shaded here so I think it's going to be tough to find tall perennials that like part shade. But we did um, that stump there on the other half of the tree. We had to cut off because the other half was rotten. So I had this big tall stump. I thought, oh, I'll put some plantings around it and eventually they'll cover up that stump. So I put in a butterfly bush and it still has some flowers on it. They're kind of peachy in the middle and purple on the outside. And hostas, of course. And this is our lilac tree bushy thing. I think I would like to get rid of it after next spring once it's done its last flowering. I don't know why, it just feels off to me. It feels like it's not supposed to be there. I did a lot of pruning back this year. And our shed, very big shed. Unfortunately, it's in the sunniest part of the yard during the summer and so that takes away some of our gardening space. But we'll make do. And there's Arthur playing at the water table. It's seriously a beautiful day here. It's like 15 degrees. Why do you want to see Camber? She's not in here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the camera back, all right? I think maybe you're saying camera when you're saying Camber. There's... Sorry, Bob, I'm taking a video. Good. This is the front of the house. It's evening. In the summer, we got lots of bright sun here for quite a while. There's the mailbox that Elsie painted. Um, the first week we moved in, the second handrail fell off the step. We just planted the flowers like the week we moved in. So some of them are transplants and they didn't do so well this year, but they'll probably do pretty good next year. The hostas are transplants. All right, it's another day. This is where I left off the last time talking about Elsie's painting that she did for the shed. We started working on it together. And then Elsie was doing all, well, the, just the way that she paints. And then I was trying to paint, but I was just drawing all kinds of like angles and circles and symmetrical things and it just didn't work. So we had to cover it up and then she helped me paint that green and pink blob in the corner. And that fixed it a bit. So we're thinking of making part of the shed a, like a guest suite. 
because we don't have a lot of space for having company over. And my parents are allergic to cats, so we need a place for them. And there's our trees. And we have only, of all these trees, we have only one so far that's turned red. There's our brush pile. We've cut down a lot of stuff. Um, just scraggly stuff. Uh, limbs that were too low, things like that. And we have a chestnut tree. And I feel like I don't want to keep it because the nuts have that very prickly covering that would hurt if your feet stepped on them. But Martin makes the case that generally we're not outside without shoes. I would say he's not outside without shoes. I am a lot of the time. And Elsie. And this is our back fence and side fence that needs to be repaired. Planted some grasses and hostas there to eventually cover up that rotten stump. Lots of mushrooms growing on it. Different kinds of mushrooms. That shelf one has been there all summer. And then these like black pyramidal ones. Or Pony ones, I guess. And of course there's a frilly one there. And we have something in our yard called leopard slugs. And I'd never seen them before. And then I accidentally stepped on one. And I couldn't believe how big it was. This is a scraggly red pine, I think. We've trimmed it up a little bit and hoping that if we plant some stuff around it, it won't look so silly. And that's where our driveway is going to be. And Arthur's playing in the car. Elsie, I hung this, I'd hung this bunting outside and then Elsie decided that this was the clubhouse. And so she wanted a sign for it. And she wanted to say, she wanted the sign to say, the clubhouse for everyone. Because she didn't want anyone to feel excluded. Although then it's not so much of a clubhouse, is it? Arthur likes to turn the lights on in the car, run out and make sure that they're lit up. And then he runs back in, turns them off, turns on the four-way flashers, runs out. Okay, so I think that's it. We're thinking of adding on a porch. Oh, that trash there is the leftovers of when we ripped out the plaster from a closet upstairs. We're slowly putting it in our municipal waste. So we want to put on a deck. I had originally thought back here, but now I'm thinking maybe along the side of the house where the oil tank is. Eventually the oil tank won't be there. Um, yeah, because that's kind of prime, sunny, part shade to sunny there, and it's shady here. When you're on a deck, you want shade, I think. That's my reasoning. Anyway, we'll have a uh, mud room coming off where the patio stones are here. Because um, we have a lot of coats and shoes and no space to put them. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Arthur found uh, a juice box in the car.